Did you have much contact with Chris Benoit when you were in WWE? I, uh, well, he came to OVW, we took him out for his birthday, you know, and uh, we had a really good time. And actually, I, uh, the, the first, I actually I forget this, when I was married, I was raising a little boy, and I took Hayden to a, a house show in USL or a TV where I was gonna maybe do a dark. Yeah. And Hayden was there, like six years old, and I, I didn't really want to bring him, but I, he was begging me to go. Cause I was new, and you know, you just don't want to bring Kit, you know. And uh, Benoit saw I was new, and he didn't even know me, but he saw Hayden, got him in the ring, wrestled with him, gave him DVDs and T-shirts and everything. That made like for Hayden, he still talks. He's like 20 something now, but that was like phenomenal, you know. Uh, so I liked Chris a lot personally, and in the ring, I thought he was a tremendous worker. I don't know if we're going there with this question, but what? allegedly transpired that night with him, I do not believe that story. I, I wholeheartedly, and I'm not gonna go into conspiracy theories, but I think something else happened that night and I don't believe that he killed his son or his wife or himself. I know, maybe I'm crazy, but I knew him too well, you know? I don't know if you were going there, but I guess I can say well, that. Well, it, it is the, uh, it's the 10 year anniversary of that actually this yeah. year. So. I will never believe that. I don't know what happened, but what was presented to us I just don't believe that, you know, and maybe I just, maybe I'm biased because I knew him, you know, and maybe something horrific happened that night, but I can't see him as kind and as gentle as he was with my son, and I knew him when his other son, little Benoit, would come around, and this child was, I think, handicapped. I can't see him hurting that, and, or a woman, you know, yeah. and, 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 and Taking his Apparently own Apparently his child, uh, from what other people have said, that was just a rumor that the okay, media yeah. bring out. His, yeah. his child was not actually see, handicapped. See, I had no, I had never, just, uh, I only uh, knew little Benoit, which is his other son, <laughs> yeah. and he came around the shows. You know, that's just my belief. Maybe I want to believe the best in everybody, but. So not to, I'm not getting into conspiracy theories, yeah. but you think that something else may have happened. I, mean, I worked for WWE. I know the things that go on, you know, I mean, at any high level of any business, there's a lot of pressure, there's a lot of money, there's a lot of things that operate undercurrents and things that are going on that we always don't know about, but you find out working there. And, you know, I just, I have a story or a, an idea, a theory of what really happened. That, to me, fits what I believe in. I mean, well, you can tell us the story if you want. We'll I don't want to, really. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. No, 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 but it's fine. It involves, you know, the WWE yeah. and uh, things with the government that has mm -hmm. been, the government's been investigating Vince for years about, mis you know, the way he treats employees and things that go on up there. Uh, letters were sent out to everybody at WWE after Benoit and Eddie wanting people to give information if things were going on that were like not a proper work environment you know the way they treated you know things that you know those things that went on that were really way far too stressful and too much pressure to put on somebody you know which made them snap like that yeah like well, you just, mean the government yeah. sent those letters or yeah, yeah well the government when well, hogan was busted back in the day and they wanted him hogan said it was all me right with the steroid yeah. deal and the government, you know, there's been rumors of the way the WWE may operate with some situations with, I think, talent, and uh, where they push guys too far, which say they do. If you get hurt, that both times I got hurt, I was fired. You know, that's not beat around the bush, and that's with almost any guy, because I mean, if you're going to be paid, they want you to produce. You know, so it's a high pressure, big money game. You know, uh, there's no union and all that. That's another whole story, which makes it hard for us to have any bargaining power because they have thousands of kids that will give anything to be the video wrestler so you can always go pick another guy you know but there's no competition anymore yeah exactly so and i'm not trying to bash on vince he's a shrewd businessman he's a genius in the right of where he's taking that business and the money he's made but you know that's stresses and forces that operate on somebody also with his decision making